you. This is for all you ladies out there who like a bargain. And this is called buy one, get one, free girls. Hello, my name's Charlie and welcome to another episode of the Time Traveller Diaries. Now today we're going to be focusing on the connections with actor Norman Wisdom in Deal, Kent, England. Now if you don't know who Norman Wisdom was, he was an actor who was born on the 4th of February 1915 in London, England. He starred in many films including The Square Peg, A Stitch in Time, The Early Bird and many more. He also starred in many television programmes, including The Last of the Summer Wine and Coronation Street. Now, sadly, um, Norman had a very poor, troubled upbringing. And once, when he was a youngster before finding fame, he even walked from London to Wales with bare feet because he couldn't afford any shoes. And this was a distance of over 200 miles, which took Norman two weeks. Sadly, he was also physically abused by his father. And Norman recalled in one interview how he learned to fall without hurting himself because his father would abusively throw him against the ceiling, allowing him to fall to the floor. But without further ado, let's get to the locations. Now this is the Deal Centre, which is on Park Street. Now Norman Wisdom can be seen cutting a cake inside this building. If you look very closely, you can see the blinds on the inside, which are down in the shot. He was cutting the cake with the mayoress. And incidentally, this building here was opened by Princess Diana in 1989. And you can see a shot here of her cutting the ribbon. Now, this is the Sir Norman Wisdom, which is located on Queen Street in Deal, Kent, which is, of course, named after Norman Wisdom himself. You can also see a photograph of the Norman Wisdom impersonator, Glenn Ford, in this shot. We'll go inside, but I don't think I can take um, any footage whilst talking of the memorabilia. I'll probably be confronted, so I'll have to do that silently. Now this is Deal Hospital on the very busy London Road in Deal, Kent, England. Now Norman Wisdom would open the Hospital Fate here, which is an annual event on more than one occasion. And this is where me, myself, got to meet Norman Wisdom as a kid. I had my little brother with me and my dad put a cap on my head, which was similar to the ones that Norman would wear in his movies. It was a really interesting day and something I won't forget, as I was genuinely a huge Norman Wisdom fan at the time with my favourite movies being On the Beat and The Early Bird. Now, interestingly, Norman Wisdom will become a huge star in the national country of Albania. Now, obviously, through the years, Norman met many, many famous stars, including footballer David Beckham. And going back even further, he would meet the likes of George Formby and Roy Castle. And going back even further from that, he met the comedy greats Laurel and Hardy when they were in their elderly years. Now, Norman Wisdom is even mentioned in the movie Stan and Ollie, which starred John C. Reilly and Steve Coogan. Now, even comedy legend Charlie Chaplin would go on to say that Norman Wisdom was his favourite clown, which is a pretty impressive comedy achievement. Now, Norman sadly passed away in a nursing home on the Isle of Wight in October 2010, aged 95. His funeral and burial both took place on the Isle of Wight, with notable people in attendance such as actor Todd Carty and actor and television presenter Bradley Walsh. And now and again, through the years, I look down at my left shoulder and remember all those years ago, Norman's hand was once resting there. So thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this short episode. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like our Facebook page. And we'll see you next time on the Time Traveller Diaries.